Hi there all final community friends and of course all other YouTubers who are watching this video. This is Ingrid from the Netherlands again, aka Rocking Lupa. And it's Sunday afternoon here in Holland. It's the 17th of March 2013. And uh, yesterday, uh, on Saturday, uh, I've been to a thrift store again. And I think I picked up some very nice stuff again. And um, they didn't have so many interesting stuff uh, this time but uh, uh, yeah I think I picked up uh, yeah some very good stuff as well and um, yeah uh, I also picked up some uh, CDs again and um, but uh, actually I also uh, played some records again which I picked up uh, already a few months ago but uh, yeah, uh, they were in the yet to play uh, bin here in in my uh, in my house, and uh, so I didn't have time to play them yet. But uh, in the meantime, uh, yeah, they uh, already have been on the turntable, if you know what I mean. So uh, yeah, high time to just clear up some stuff again, and uh, also show you the the stuff I picked up uh, yesterday. So, uh, well, I always start with the CDs first, so, uh, yeah, uh, the very first one I wanted to show you today, it's uh, by a Dutch artist, uh, I think I already showed you some vinyl from him uh, in one of my previous videos, and um, this artist, he, his career already lasts for about 50 years. So um, yeah, uh, yeah, he already had a very successful uh, musical uh, career uh, before I was born, uh, in fact. And uh, but he is still very popular these days, and um, he still uh, sells uh, yeah really many records, and uh, he gives uh, sold out uh, shows uh, still here in in Holland, and. Um, yeah, and uh, yeah, he only sings in Dutch, so uh, yeah, he, he only has Dutch language uh, songs. Um, but uh, yesterday I found his latest uh, yeah compilation, uh, three CD box, actually, and it's uh, from the Dutch singer Rob de Nijs, and um, this is a. His latest, uh, yeah, compilation, three CD box, and uh, yeah, it's called uh, Rob. So his, uh, yeah, his first uh, name, and um, it's called uh, Mijn Favorite Liedjes. So uh, when I translate that to English, it will, it means my favorite songs. So uh, yeah. Uh, it was not very expensive. Uh, it was only 12 uh, euros 99 cents. And um, well, um, when uh, you know that uh, I already, yeah, told you, uh, yeah, al already several times in uh, in my previous videos, is that the most new CDs here in Holland will cost you about 20 you know until 23 euros something like that and um, yeah so uh, yeah only 12 or actually 13 euros for three CDs you know that's uh, really not f too expensive I guess and um, yeah so um, and I didn't have a really good compilation um, with all his, his uh, biggest hits here in, in Holland uh, yet so um, yeah uh, I decided to, to buy this um, this CD actually comes from the thrift store I was yesterday uh, this is a CD single by Brian May of course uh, the guitarist from uh, Queen and this is uh, uh, Too Much Love Will Kill You and I uh, actually I'll, I already have the album uh, from this but uh, yeah you know for only one, one euro in a thrift store I just couldn't pass this up and uh, 
because I have more uh, Queen uh, related stuff in my collection so uh, yeah great addition to my collection Brian May um, this was in uh, a discount bin uh, in a local CD store uh, it's um, actually it's a two CD set uh, will you st uh, will you love me tomorrow by the Shirelles and uh, yeah of course I love that uh, Phil Spector sound and also the old uh, Motown soul uh, music and everything so uh, yeah this is really right uh, up my alley if you know what I mean so uh, uh, yeah and uh, it was not very uh, expensive as I already said it was in the in the in the discount bin or bargain bin uh, depends on how you call it but yeah great to have this uh, also in the uh, discount bin it was only three euros so I really couldn't pass this up uh, it also has two CDs and this is uh, Smokey Robinson and the Miracles and uh, the title of the uh, yeah, CD box is Shop Around and of course it has among others uh, Who's Loving You we, which was later uh, covered of course by the Jackson 5 among others so uh, yeah really cool to have this Smokey Robinson uh, this was also um, yeah a discount price so uh, really cool to have this because um, yeah this is a, th a 3 CD set or a c 3 CD box with all kinds of hits from the 80s and um, yeah of course I was a teenager in the 80s so I grew up with that music and um, well I have more compilation uh, sets with 80s music of, co of course in my collection but uh, yeah it's always nice to find more uh, boxes like this so uh, yeah among others uh, Duran Duran and Thompson Twins and Heaven 17, uh, Culture Club, uh, Kajigugu, Paul Young, uh, Midjour, uh, Talk Talk, uh, Ultravox, uh, yeah you know Blondie also, Billy Idol, uh, Simple Minds, Proclaimers King, you know, uh, from uh, Paul King, and many, many more hits. So that's very cool uh, to find. And um, in the same bin, I also found this one with more 80s music. <laughs> uh, so 80s pop, massive hits, uh, three CD uh, box sets. So also, uh, yeah. Uh, yeah, very cool to listen to and uh, remind uh, the 80s. Um, this came uh, through the mail last week. Um, this is actually the USA pressing from uh, No Limits by Two Unlimited. And uh, I already told you about it in one of my previous videos. Um, Two Unlimited, they were a very popular pop duo here in the Netherlands uh, about 20 years ago and uh, yeah uh, not very long ago they um, they started to uh, perform as uh, Two Unlimited again after 20 years so that's uh, yeah very cool and uh, brings back uh, yeah very cool memories and uh, yeah really great actually and uh, but uh, yeah, so I was collecting the yeah some uh, CDs from uh, Two Unlimited, and I discovered that there were different versions from this album. So in the meantime, I already have the Dutch pressing, and so this is the uh, yeah the American pressing, and um, I'm also I'm expecting uh, the UK pressing. So um, yeah, I don't know when it will arrive uh, through the mail, but uh, of course, as soon as it will, uh, yeah, arrive here, I will show you in one of my next videos. So, um, but it's very cool to ha also have a USA pressing now. So uh, yeah, really cool. 
Um, from the same seller I also bought this one. It's um, a self-titled CD by Janet Jackson. And to be honest I didn't have it yet. There, yeah, there are actually more uh, albums by Janet uh, I didn't, I don't have yet, but um, yeah, um, for some reason uh, it's not always very easy to get and um, not always very uh, cheap. <laughs> you know, I always try to, um, uh, yeah, to to get uh, the copies uh, as as cheap as possible because yeah, you only can spend spend your money uh, once if you know what I mean. So, um, but uh, yeah, I didn't have it yet. So, uh, yeah, great addition to my uh, Jackson related, uh, yeah, collection. So Janet Jackson. Um, yeah, this um, this uh, little stack is actually uh, there are all uh, thrift store finds. Um, this is. Uh, the Greatest Hits by Kenny Rogers <laughs> and uh, for only one euro and um, yeah um, actually my father he always played uh, Kenny Rogers uh, at home uh, when we were very young and uh, he still listens uh, a lot to this music so um, yeah actually uh, yeah, this this brings also uh, this brings back uh, great uh, memories. In fact, so uh, yeah, great to have this, and for only one euro, you can never go wrong. You know. Um, I also found this one in the uh, thrift store, and um, I don't think it's an official release. Uh, I think it's or, or a bootleg or. Um, maybe a copied CD or whatever so I don't know exactly what it is but it's uh, yeah it's by the Beatles <laughs> and um, yeah I thought well for only one euro yeah I give it a try so um, but when I open it it says uh, CD2 so actually I think this belongs to another CD or maybe a CD box or I whatever I just don't know really and actually I think it's a copied CD but um, yeah it has the uh, songs uh, birthday uh, year blues mother nature son and yeah it, it has 13 songs so um, but uh, yeah I thought it was very nice uh, to pick up and uh, for only one euro so very nice to have Uh, this is also a thrift store find and uh, yeah uh, I also didn't have it yet and uh, very uh, it was very cool to find this uh, it's uh, yeah I think it's a CD single it has two two songs actually and uh, an interview with uh, Janet Jackson and uh, this was uh, for the uh, Pepsi Cola uh, yeah for Pepsi music so yeah I don't think this was uh, for sale in the regular uh, stores so maybe you uh, got this CD when you buy uh, cola or something or maybe someone else if you know more about this CD uh, yeah maybe you can tell me more about it and uh, where it comes from and when it was released and everything so um, yeah it's uh, well it's from 1999 and uh, printed in the USA so um, so actually I don't know if this was released in Holland or but uh, yeah it's very nice uh, a very nice uh, item for my Jackson collection of course so uh, very nice to pick this up in a thrift store <laughs> For only one euro, yeah. Well, uh, so uh, one more uh, CD uh, left to show you. Uh, this was also a thrift store find. It's the uh, the vocal group uh, All for One, and um, 
Yeah, they uh, were a very popular R&B uh, group, uh, early 90s, and uh, they had a hit, uh, I Swear, and actually th this, it's on the only song I know by this group. <laughs> so, um, yeah, but this was only one euro in the th uh, thrift store, so I thought, well, what the heck, and let's give it a try, and maybe i like the other songs too you know so um yeah so i don't know uh, what i can expect actually but uh yeah it's always nice to uh, try things out and uh, for only one euro you can never go wrong you know so uh that was my latest uh, cd i wanted to show you today well that uh, means that i will move on with the vinyl now and um uh, yeah, the very first LP I wanted to show you today. Uh, it's uh, it's the LP is called the legendary Eddie Cochran, and um, yeah, I bought this from a man uh, in my town. He sells uh, yeah vinyl sometimes, and uh, so uh, yeah. He knows that uh, I'm also collecting uh, 50s music or other, uh, yeah, 70s and 80s and well, <laughs> well, um, in fact, uh, when he uh, sees something I might like, he, uh, well, he he, uh, he just uh, contacts me and uh, you know and asks me if I'm interested. So, um, well, uh, I bought this from him uh, recently, quite recently. And uh, yeah, it's. Um, uh, I think this was already about 40 years old or something like that, but I'm not for sure. And uh, well, yeah, it's great to have this. And uh, as you all know, I really like the 50s uh, music also. And uh, yeah, we also have a jukebox. Uh, and uh, yeah, I also already made a, a video. Um, already several videos about it uh, yeah and uh, I already posted them on my YouTube channel so if you are interested in our jukebox uh, please check out my YouTube channel and um, I'm sure you will find the, those videos well um, yeah Eddie Cochran really gra great to have this um, this was actually a thrift store find uh, John Denver back home again and the great to find this for only one euro and uh, yeah it was uh, yeah good shape actually and uh, no scratches or nothing and actually I uh, found this LP also on eBay uh, last week and they asked a lot more money for <laughs> for it but what I paid for it you know so uh, yeah, so sometimes it really, uh, yeah, yeah, it's really, gr <laughs> it's really better to just visit a thrift store uh, sometimes a little bit more. So because uh, it saves you a lot of money, <laughs> in fact. So uh, yeah, John Denver, and this, uh, yeah, it has really great hits and uh, any song and uh, yeah. Yeah, it's it's just uh, and thank God I'm a country boy and yeah, I'm I'm I don't remember all the songs uh, right now, but it's from uh, 1974, so I was only three years old when this uh, album came out. So, but very nice uh, thrift store find. Um, something totally different. Um. I bought this already a few months ago, but yeah, it was in the yet to play bin, and in in the meantime, uh, it had yeah, I had this uh, on the turntable already. Uh, it's Tooth and uh, Nail by Dokken. So very great 80s hard rock, typical 80s uh, yeah, long hair, <laughs> big hair, uh, uh, yeah, rock, you know, and. Um, uh, yeah, little near to AOR music and everything. So, uh, yeah, great to have this. Dokken. Um, let's take a look. 
Uh, this I also bought by the man, uh, from the man in my uh, uh, town. Uh, this is um, a 16 Super Tracks, uh, the Fantastic Fats. Uh, so all kind of hits from Fats Domino. And yeah, I have several albums by Fats Domino and um, uh, yeah, every time I see a different uh, cover or record and yeah, I, ca I can't help it, but every time, uh, yeah, I just like to have that. And um, yeah, so great uh, music. Fats Domino. Uh, this uh, I also bought from the same uh, man. And this is Gone, Gone, Gone by the Everly Brothers. And my mother, uh, she was a huge fan from the Everly Brothers in her, in her teenage uh, years. And, uh, but she still loves to listen to this music a lot. So, uh, and uh, well, uh, since I'm collecting records, um, I try to pick up, uh, yeah, uh, very, yeah, all right. I always try to pick up some Everly Brothers uh, stuff. So I have several Everly Brothers uh, uh, records in my collection and I'm still trying to find for records I don't have yet so uh, but this is a very cool one uh, this um, the, the record says it's uh, from 1965 so and uh, yeah it has great uh, music uh, no scratches so great uh, condition and I'm very t happy uh, I found this. So, uh, Everly Brothers. Uh, this was a thrift store find. And so only for one euro. Uh, this is a golden. Uh, and has it has great greatest hits uh, from uh, Glenn Miller. And although the front cover design, it has nothing to do with Glenn Miller, <laughs> I guess. But uh, okay, it's uh, yeah all about the music, of course, and um, yeah, uh, I I really like that uh, big band jazz uh, kind of music, and uh, of course uh, I also listen a lot to, uh, for example, uh, Brian uh, the Brian Setzer Orchestra, you know, and but that is more yeah jazz uh, rock and roll kind of uh, yeah music, but um, yeah, so I also. Uh, yeah, this is also very uh, yeah great music actually. So uh, Glenn Miller. Um, this I already bought several months ago. Uh, so uh, this was also in the yet to play bin. Uh, this is uh, the band Heaven, and the LP is called Where Angels Fear to uh, Tread. And that very cool yeah melodic hard rock you know AOR kind of uh, yeah 80s hard rock and um, yeah uh, among others uh, uh, Glenn Hughes and Lita Ford uh, they sing uh, backing vocals on this uh, record so that's also, also uh, very cool and uh, great music actually so uh, and uh, great condition um, this I also bought from that man in my uh, city. Uh, this is Wishing by Buddy Holly. And again, uh, I really like that uh, 50s, you know, uh, rock and roll music. And um, so, uh, yeah, re really great to have this. And uh, I don't. I don't think it's a, yeah, a first pressing, so I think it's a reissue. It's from the Coro uh, label. So, um, but you know, uh, yeah, uh, first pressings from the 50s, you know, <laughs> they uh, almost cost a fortune uh, these days. So, uh, yeah, I'm also very happy with reissues, you know, so uh, because in the end it's all about the music, you know. So uh, Buddy Holly and uh, yeah he really uh, made some great music uh, during his uh, career and uh, of course he uh, yeah he passed away too soon I guess and uh, 
yeah long before uh, I was born of course but uh, yeah but uh, yeah really great that his music still uh, yeah is uh, much around and uh, we can still enjoy his uh, great great music so uh, yeah buddy Holly um this was also a thrift store find so uh, for only one euro it's love songs by Tom Jones and this is actually a Dutch uh, pressing and a uh, Dutch release uh, uh, from the Arcada or uh, Arcada label it's um, yeah they uh, they had a music uh, gala gala something like that uh, several years ago so this was uh, from the mid 80s 1986 already and what's very nice that still is the sticker from uh, yeah a store that unfortunately uh, it doesn't exist anymore but uh, the the store is called uh, Stafhorst <laughs> Stafhorst and uh, so yeah they had uh, several stores in uh, Utrecht so uh, the city where I was born and also in my city uh, Nieuwegein and in another city Amersfoort so and uh, at least uh, three cities they, they had uh, yeah, several stores and um, yeah I have uh, great memories to that store uh, but uh, yeah of course uh, yeah unfortunately uh, yeah the the yeah they didn't sell so much uh, records anymore and um, yeah and later on CDs but uh, in the end uh, yeah the 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 CD stores they just don't exist anymore uh, I know there is still a Stophorst uh, shop but they only st uh, sell uh, musical instruments so you know uh, guitars uh, drums and you name it so the, yeah that's the only store that's still left but they, al they also had stores with uh, you know um, like uh, yeah CD players radios uh, uh, f you know turntables and uh, whatever <laughs> you name it so uh, but uh, yeah that's all gone now so they on the only uh, uh, the only uh, stuff horse store that's still left is the musical, yeah, the music hall. It's also uh, called, and they only uh, sell uh, musical instruments. So, but uh, yeah, so it's very nice to uh, find a sticker on this uh, album. And uh, but I uh, only paid yeah one euro for this in a thrift store. So uh, very cool to have this. And uh, Tom Jones is uh, yeah just a great singer. Um, I uh, this was also in the yet to play bin. Uh, this is the ride to rock by the hard rock band uh, Kiel, and also great 80s hard rock, long hair, big hair, <laughs> 80s hard rock. So uh, yeah, it's on the Vertigo uh, label, and uh, yeah, just great, uh, great music, uh, great shape. So uh, yeah, really uh, yeah. If you are really into 80s hard rock, it's really a recommended album. Um, this was a thrift store find uh, for only one euro. Uh, Kenny Rogers. <laughs> uh, so uh, yeah, I also picked up uh, a CD uh, in the thrift store, but I also picked up this LP. And as I already said, my father he played that music uh, yeah a lot of times when I was young younger, and uh, and he still does. <laughs> but uh, yeah, great to have this. You know, Ruby, don't take you love to town. Uh, green green grass of home. Uh, yeah, let it be me. Ruben James. Yeah, all kinds of uh, yeah great hits. It's a Dutch pressing, uh, by the way. So uh, yeah, it's uh, from the Music for Pleasure label, uh, 1980 in Holland. So great to have this, Kenny Rogers. 
Uh, this was in the yet to play bin. Uh, this is uh, Hemispheres, if I pronounced that right. It's by Rush. And um, yeah, Gatefold. And um, yeah, really great records. And uh, I also picked up another uh, Rush album. And it's, this is uh, Power Windows. And um, it's very nice when you listen to Rush. Uh, that's, you know, you can obviously uh, hear that, um, that the band uh, Dream Theater was very much influenced by Rush, you know. Because uh, when you listen uh, to Dream Theater, you just hear some uh, elements uh, in their music, which is definitely, uh, it, it was very much influenced by Rush, you know. So, uh, but uh, yeah, I hope to get more Rush albums uh, in the near future. I'm actually trying to collect uh, more of their albums. And um, yeah, so. Uh, so I'm very happy to uh, to have this. And sorry for the noise in the background, but uh, yeah, I'm actually here in the in my attic of my house, and uh, as usual, it's raining again in Holland. So uh, you what you hear is the rain from the sky on my uh, window, <laughs> actually. So uh, I'm sorry about that. So um, but. I'm still hoped uh, I uh, will still will uh, continue this uh, video if you don't mind. Uh, well, this is also an, a record I picked up from the man in my uh, city. Uh, this is Echoes uh, of the 60s, and uh, it's all uh, Phil Spector songs. So. Uh, you know, for example, uh, I can Tina Turner, River Deep, Mountain High, and The Crystals. Then he kissed me, and The Ronettes, uh, Be My Baby, and uh, yeah, also The Righteous Brothers, and You've Lost That Loving Feeling. Uh, again, The Crystals, The Do Run Run. I really like that song, and uh, yeah, really, uh, yeah, great, mo many more songs. So Phil Spector and uh, yeah, really great uh, pickup. Um, also Phil Spector related sort of. Uh, so this is a uh, complete album, a River Deep Mountain High by Ike and Tina Turner. <laughs> And uh, in fact, I already had a copy of this, but uh, this is a kind of uh, upgrade copy. And uh, yeah, Gr really great to have this. And um, yeah, I tried to look up on uh, Discogs in, uh, from w which year this is. But um, yeah, when I uh, try to look up, uh, I get several uh, years. So yeah, <laughs> I, I'm not... Uh, really sure from which year this is but uh, maybe you can tell me more about it so uh, it's actually a stereo LP so uh, but uh, yeah I really love uh, Tina Turner I really adore her <laughs> sort of you know and I have several Tina Turner uh, records also and CDs also in my collection and I, uh, I visited two uh, live concerts by Tina Turner and I definitely didn't uh, want to miss that. So uh, yeah, um, yeah. I I try to get more Tina stuff, uh, which I don't have yet. So uh, really cool uh, to have this uh, upgrade uh, copy. I can Tina. And then already the very late, uh, the very last record I just wanted to show you today. Uh, this is uh, Down for the Count by Y&T, or uh, Yesterday and Today, and of course this was also a great, really excellent 
80s hard rock band and uh, yeah uh, it has their hit uh, summertime girls maybe you uh, are familiar with that song or you remember it so uh, yeah I have more YNT records in my collection uh, but I didn't have this yet, so uh, yeah, I was really gr uh, happy to pick this up. And uh, yeah, really, uh, yeah, yeah, they, they, they just don't make this music these days anymore, you know. It really, uh, yeah, sort of reminds me to, uh, yeah, MTV, Headbangers Doll, and everything, and um, you know, and in those days they had really great uh, hair, <laughs> hard rock, you know. So, uh, yeah. So this was actually my uh, very last item I just uh, wanted to show you today. So, uh, well, I think I uh, made a really great score today because, uh, yeah, uh, as well the CDs and uh, all the vinyl in about uh, 36 minutes. <laughs> well, yeah. It's uh, yeah. Uh, I don't know if I can, uh, if I will succeed uh, uh, again next time to make it a shorter video. But uh, well, we'll see uh, then. You know. Well, uh, my friends, uh, this was all for today. And um, yeah, uh, it's Sunday, but I still have some uh, things to do. Uh, so um, I really want to leave you here. And I hope you uh, enjoyed my video. I hope you enjoyed watching all the stuff I showed you. And, uh, you know, uh, leave me comments. Uh, you know, uh, shoot me a message or contact me through Facebook or whatever. It's also very welcome. And uh, all the new subscribers, uh, thank you so very much. It's really cool. You, uh, yeah, yeah, you just uh, push that uh, subscribe uh, button. And uh, yeah, of course, also all the old uh, subscribers, you know, uh, really cool that you still, uh, yeah, uh, support my uh, YouTube channel. And uh, yeah, you just, uh, yeah, you just like uh, the videos I just, uh, yeah, upload to to YouTube, you know. It's, uh, yeah, I just only talk about music and... Uh, about uh, the things, all the music I just like and not, nothing really special, you know. So uh, always cool that uh, yeah, other people enjoy this uh, too, you know. So, um, well, uh, this was all for now. Hopefully be, I'll be back soon with another video. And I wish you all the best for now. And uh, well, see you soon. Okay? Bye bye my friends!